Oh no, oh my god, what a spy play! What is this, Mr. Swipes? Yippee Generic intro in the deck goes, we're here back with some more Bad Weapon Academy by Fish Stick on a Stick Gaming. Today we have the Red Tape Recorder and then the Red Tape Recorder follow-up video. We're doing both of those today, as you can tell from the timestamps over here. You want to check those out. You want to check out last week's video, which was the Ulu Pool Caver. I'll leave it right there. Also, link down below the description. Also, being a playlist on my channel with all of my other Team Fortress 2 videos. The, oh, the Ulu Pool Caver. I need to use that thing so bad. I can't wait until I start streaming Team Fortress 2 over on Twitch. I wonder, I've actually thought about me streaming it on my YouTube, on my gaming channel, YouTube channel. That's my other channel. You can check it out. It's linked in the description. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers on that channel, but I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe to that channel, because more Team Fortress 2, my Minecraft content are all coming to that channel. But I have loved Bad Weapon Academy so far. You all showed so much support for us, so I cannot thank you all enough for that. Uh, shout out to the patrons down below. They get the videos a day early and allow me to not have a paywall on the channel. But let's go ahead and jump into the red tape recorder because I actually somewhat kind of know about this thing. So I remember Bad the red Weapon tape recorder Academy from Ambassador, please. I don't know if you take no, requests, but from, I would like to see an episode on the. Uh, you should probably add what the I add the ambassador, so bad. maybe. Bad weapon. I don't Academy know. Do the ambi. No, really. Is the bad. ambassador a bad weapon? Oh yeah, it's a, it's terrible. Yeah, terrible, terrible weapon. Yeah. What what else can you do with it other than shoot? You know? Jesus, how many crits are you getting? Why did the pirate just walk into? Oh no. Oh my god. Last week was the Olaful Caver. That thing looks like so much fun. Also, apparently, Scream Fortress. I don't know when Scream Fortress is supposed to start, but it should start soon. It's almost been one year ago since I started playing Team Fortress 2, which is crazy. No. no. Why would I do that? It's really not even that bad. You yeah, want a bad apparently. weapon. You got right. this piece of shit. It's so bad. It's uh, apparently he's still coming Welcome out with new weapon episodes Academy. of this, which is well, we sick. Look at the worst this one's like you caught up our reaction to the new ones when they come out. I'll show you how to best utilize them. Something a few of you have the picked up on in up. the primary weapon episode so far is that secondaries are really important. Whether it's yeah. to provide some kind of passive benefit or else cover a weakness of the weapon yeah, but this or thing class, is your backup useless. tool can mean just as much, if not more, than what you're usually gunning people down with. P but what happens when the support tool itself is bad? If it has nothing to prop itself up, how can it even function? Enter the red tape recorder. God, the only what is unlockable sapper for? in the game, and not a very good one either. The sapper itself has an interesting <sighs> role because it's not the is best this, like, really good for, like, doing out there. Multiple? It's loud, I've the never engineer is alerted to it immediately, and it can be taken care of in a couple of wrench swings. This has never stopped pub players from stacking Spy once they get into a server with multiple engineers because, well, yeah. hey, Spy is an anti-sentry gun class, right? He God, has the so only tool in the game specifically meant to destroy destroyed. engineer buildings, so he's one of, if not the best sorry, at is that it, level right? 132 well, three? if the engineer is huh. already dead, maybe. But where the sapper works best is in conjunction with your fellow teammates. Oh! If you sap a sentry at the same time as a power class, like a soldier or demo or heavy pushes into it... Oh, it's it, gone. That's it. The sentry is screwed. No wrangler or rescue ranger can save it. You oh, he's force the to be engineer medic. to get up close to his sentry, Weird. a bad idea where splash damage is concerned, and instead of healing or tanking his sentry, He's okay. forced to remove can, the sapper, can you put both of them? wasting precious time as his gun is mowed down. He can either save his sentry at risk to himself, or sacrifice it so he can live to fight another day. He should but sacrifice he'll likely be giving to live another day. The advantage of not having to fight an auto aim high DPS machine in the process. So while the sapper can destroy sentries, I don't think that's its intended purpose. No. It's more of a sentry oh disabled. There's a reason that even assisted Who's building destructions that? count towards your strangers. So how does the red tape really? recorder factor in here? Well, it's slow. A hell of a lot slower actually. Like how he just Looking didn't at the bother stats with the scout and just walked him and got a It has a 100% sapper damage penalty which applies to all buildings. So it takes about twice as long to destroy okay, buildings yeah. compared to the regular sapper. What how can you go down negative 100%? It takes the red tape recorder about 17 and a half. However, oh before God. it starts does, damaging ever, buildings, like, actually it happen? deconstructs them, lowering their level, which takes about three and a half seconds per level. 
This is meant to be an upside, but it's really not. Oh, Any engineer wow. close to their sentry will just whack it off before it even gets a chance yeah, to lower its it'll level. Be fine. Three and a half seconds is a long time in TF2. If you're using it purely for the purpose of sentry destruction, it's just no good. It's way yeah, too use slow. The sapper. And if you're using it with your teammates, the regular sapper just does the job better. Yeah. It takes three and a half seconds for the red tape recorder to get a sentry down to level. We keep it in two shot range for a longer period of time, but for defensive engineers who stay close to their buildings, it is central and moot point. Yeah. Two. Then it starts having lower health, and it can be two shot by two direct pipes or rockets from any rocket launcher besides hmm. the Liberty launcher or the direct. Hit. Maybe the direct yeah, is able because it takes to out a commission might be the centuries. best thing in about it. In three and a half seconds, a regular sapper can take a sentry down to almost half its health. No matter how you slice it, this is a downgrade. Everything the red tape recorder can do, the stock the sapper, sapper does, does better. Yeah. There's no reason to use it, right? <laughs> well, the good thing about something as specialized as a sapper is that it's meant specifically to target one class. Or more specifically, Engineer. the buildings of one class. So you just have to look at that class's arsenal well, what can of the red tape recorder to see do? in what situations the downside actually becomes an upside. Because I don't think believe it or not, sometimes one. destroying a sentry slowly can be a good thing rather than a bad thing. Distracts now let's be clear on maybe? something. You should huh. not run the red tape recorder right out of the gate. Just don't no. do it. Couldn't Instead, you need to use your class's superior powers of observation to be on the lookout for certain Nobody's paying types attention of to the dispenser. And when you see them, that's <gasps> oh, the moment no. to Oh my god, destroy. what a spy play! The first what and most this, obvious Swipes? kind of engineer is the gunslinger engineer, also known as the battle engine. Battle engines typically yeah, like to treat their mini sentries as disposable means of dealing yeah, extra are. damage to targets they're firing at with their shotgun. It effectively doubles engine. the damage like, they can put out and increases their engine. longevity by forcing their enemies into what are essentially 2v1 battles where one opponent has oh. perfect aim. It's an extremely effective and sometimes Get annoying strategy, but one that you can pop a hole in thanks to just how slow your sapper destroys buildings. Because they're disposable, hmm. if a mini sentry starts going down, the battle engine will usually just let it. Once the fight yeah. is done, it's as simple a matter as two clicks to get another one hey. right back up. But when the yeah. gun going down takes ten and a half entire seconds, they can't get another one up. Well, suddenly, okay. the battle so engine just, just becomes a down. slower scout with a weaker scatter gun and twenty-five. Yeah, you're health. right. He's forced to either spend time waiting on his gun to go down huh. and be left extremely map. vulnerable in the meantime, or he's forced to spend time removing the sapper, which can it's all about wasting time. Ambush. You can be a real nuisance to wow, battle so engineers. Lucky. Yeah, way. how did you live? However, it's important to note that the farther away the engineer is from his mini sentry, the better this will work out. If he's right next to it, then he'll just take it off immediately. Yeah. Once there's some distance between him and his gun, you force him into he a won't choice. Care. Either his yeah. gun stays up and he maintains a degree of safety with auto-aim at the risk of being extremely vulnerable while saving it, or he can sacrifice yeah. the gun and rely solely I guess on his shotgun aim for one a significant benefit. period of time. Speaking of Battle Engineer, let's talk about a common like shotgun how he's that's often clips. paired with it. <laughs> the Frontier Justice. This mm. gun is a scary thing to fight. You've got the sentry down, mm. you think the battle's Blood. over, and then BAM! You're one shot out of nowhere by none other than the very engineer you yeah. just took for helpless a moment Frontier ago. Just is but fun. what happens when that sentry so gun that's been racking up videos. kills suddenly starts going down painfully Oop, take that slowly? Down. Oh no! It I guess the he got entire bumped purpose or of the gun somebody. because the engineer now has to wait for his gun to go down in order to get Before the benefit. Another one. And all yep. the while he's left with half a the, he got another one out. and no sentry to back him up. This is especially effective on engineers who use leveled sentries in conjunction with the Frontier Justice since yeah. it will take so even you're longer like... for the gun to go down. If you communicate with your teammates, this can be especially devastating as you can instruct them to not destroy it until the well, engineer Well, why would you do that over a sapper? Removing the risk of getting one shot by his crits and wasting those sentry kills. How are you so it's bad? It's almost like turning. evil. While on the subject of shotguns, <laughs> easily the most detrimental one you can use the red tape recorder against is the Widowmaker. Because the Widowmaker oh. uses metal for ammo, These are all battle this is engine actually weapons. the best possible situation for the deconstruction oh, wow. mechanic. Because it the means that the engineer will have to turn his means of self-defense into repairs. This can be especially effective because, yeah, on uses teleporter, metal as it's bullets. such a high priority building, yeah. but one the engineer will rarely be too close to. Meaning Stab. you'll actually oh, no. be able to get the oh, full no. benefit of being able oh, no. to Oh wait, the medic wants to smoke. the enemy team scrambling around a level one Oh, that's a heavy, that's a problem. And I don't no, have but, to tell uh, you, that can sometimes be slower than walking. 
The last type of engineer to talk about is one you won't Ooh. see too often, but one that I like to call the Long Ranger. Leveled sentry engineers like to the stick around their range. sentries more often than not, which isn't the best for the red tape recorder. It's really weak oh, against turtling engines. But every so often, you'll see one who prefers to hide behind cover and heal it exclusively with really? the rescue ranger. These guys are oh. just as easily countered by a regular sapper, but because they're stationed further away from their sentry guns than the average NG, you're and they able can, like, to make use of the deconstruction right? mechanic. Suddenly, that engineer went from tanking a level 3 sentry in relative safety to annoyingly having to upgrade a level 2. And that is the perfect moment for your team hmm. to strike, as they can take out both the sentry and the engineer. If you want to make the most out of your potential annoyance, I'd recommend I'm using the Invisibility Watch so or Cloak and Dagger to get the most oh, ambush yeah. opportunities possible at the best possible times. However, I don't know. one of the nice that, things about the Red Tape Recorder what do you think is that I really don't have to I go into loadouts too much them. because it doesn't really have bad synergy with any of Spy's other weapons. Except the Year Eternal Reward, but that's just because that already sucks. The situations where this sapper works are niche, but they do exist. Oh, look at it. It's not as useless as people make it out to be. I get... And in the right situation, it can even be more effective than a regular sapper. Is someone trying to use that right now? Sapper. Oh, no, it's just getting... If you want to maximize your chances of this weapon actually being helping useful, more than engineers then time. King of the Hill and yeah. Payload Defense are probably your best bets. Since these situations are where engineers like to run many What's going on the kill the feed? Often, or at the very least where they'll be aggressive enough to stay further away from their buildings. And I think your scouts in particular will thank hmm. you on cough matches for making gunslinger engineer Has lives thing hell. In the situation where this sapper works, like, I don't understand it works why they well, would put it in the game, But I think really. more than any other episode in the series like, so they, far, they need it. this is the one where I said, God, I wish I was using stock the most often yeah. when gathering footage for it. So how can we? Because you had to like reuse. Well, clips. the high GPS balance mod made it so that you can Throwable? throw it like the spy does and meet the spy. And that certainly <laughs> gives it utility. However, if we really want to get the most out of the deconstruction idea, then I say either make the deconstruction happen faster, as in less than three and a half seconds, or make the sapper itself bulkier uh. so that it has time to get the building down before it's destroyed. Uh. Oh, Not enough back so that there. it's a wow. sure thing that the engineer won't be able to stop it from being deleveled but enough so that oh, if you wow. time it right, it's a lot more effective. This would be especially effective for Jag engineers uh, who would have to hit it several times before God, it gets destroyed. Why is that car so loud? I think this would be the best way to make it have more general application without taking away the supposed downside that gives it a viable yeah. niche. I like the fact that sometimes you have to think a bit differently while using this thing. And it's not just effectively a sapper reskin that you play well, I, the exact same way with. Exactly. Now, if you yeah. want it to be a sapper reskin and really want to use it at its most effective, then just play MVM where it is literally a reskin oh! of the stock sapper. I mean, wait, is that what happens when like anyway, the whole group goes down? Couple rounds of expert, but you'll be able to definitively say that you're. I have a couple playthroughs on my uh, gaming channel of playing a uh, man up. But again, like the paid the for version. The entire point of this is so that you're not just using a glorified reskin of stuff. Wait, did he actually use Some the teleport in the game and kind of give it? that impression? Or, like, how differently do you play Demo Man with the Iron Bomber as opposed to Stock, or the Hitman's Heatmaker with Sniper? Wait, oh, the Red Tape Recorder does the through? same thing as the regular Sapper, but it specializes in screwing over certain kinds of engineers. So go out there and find hmm. those frontier justice gunslinger engineers and tell them. Uncle sent. Dane, I don't. Would it would it work against Uncle Dane? That is the major question. Okay, and then we're gonna have the I guess uh, whatever the next one is. Yeah, I think in bad weapon, not bad weapon academy, in uh, weapons area types, he was like, yeah, unless you walk through a room full of them. That was embarrassing. I've been okay. getting a lot of a now very specific comment on my last video. In fact, the Red Tape yeah, recorded video has only been up for a few days now, and I've gotten more wow. people telling me this particular comment than people have asked me to review Happy Appy on my Creepypasta review channel over the you past five review channel? years. What amazes me about this is that it's not because I made some kind of mistake. It's not that I'm not prone to making mistakes. I make them all the time, and I usually make at least one really bad one per video that makes oh, me cringe really? and want to do better next time. 
the most every video you make one mistake being when i got basic math wrong in my caber video or when i mispronounced well, well, pool in that same video Bulipool? but this time my mistake was assuming that we were all on the same page in terms of knowing certain game mechanics obscure as they may be but the response here was in <laughs> yeah, such droves that I was spaghetti honestly code. under the impression that I was the victim of a mass gaslighting attempt. If I had written one line in the script saying that sappers disable engineers from destroying their sentries manually oh, they do? via the destruction PDA or through the use of in-game binds, which is the primary reason that the red tape recorder's downside is actually an upside watch in regards to aggressive Oh, engineers. I didn't I know that. I making this video right now. And you may have noticed that I'm dragging this comments. out to emphasize just how many comments I got regarding this. So here's the video evidence. In this clip, a spy is sapping my sentry, and I use the destruction PDA to try and, and destroy it. And I even use the Frontier Justice to get the full benefit of doing so if I'm successful. But and nothing did. comes of it. In fact, it kicks me out of the PDA HUD until my sentry finally goes down. Some of really? you might be saying that I need to use a bind that builds and destroys sentries I don't think in a single works. click. I did just that. In fact, I copied this commenter's exact bind verbatim. You can see it working perfectly So he did make here. a mistake. In an instant, I destroy my active sentry gun, and I'm ready to place a new one. However, when this spy starts sapping my gun, no matter how furiously I spam it. the bind, it is that, does nothing. That's a, is the that only death exception note? to I this say it's is a something that another commenter pointed out, which is that if you go to spawn and switch from the gunslinger to one of the other wrenches, or vice versa, it will destroy your <laughs> nice. active sentry gun. But the fact that you have to be near your spawn in order to accomplish this kind of makes this a moot point in yeah, it makes to no, aggressive engineers. Makes no point. The situations where this would come up are very few and far between. So I'm begging oh, you, well. please just stop commenting this. It's not yeah. that I don't appreciate the comments. I love to read your guys' feedback. And yeah, I love to read your comments. comments are good for the God, algorithm, we get some which is nice, comments as I need people. money to survive, in the words of a certain <laughs> funky dude. But please leave the well, comments you, to telling me anything else, like how bad the frame rate in the video is. This is my way of letting you know I'm using Shadow Play from now on. Okay, I'm Shadow Play. That's I don't know Shadow Play. Until is. next time. So basically, oh, I definitely understand. I get comments like that all the time from people that are just straight up wrong or they don't understand. I get that all the time too, because like I said, I read every single comment. So the amount of self control I gotta have sometimes, where people just are just. Like, they make no sense. Like, the amount of people, like, if somebody says something that's just rude or has no point at all in being said, like, they're wrong and they don't have a point or they just skip the intro or skip something important or they just are just unaware and they're just going to be, like, mean about it and, like, in an unconstructive un, um, way, I'm just going to hide their comments. Like, I'm not going to bother responding. I'm not going to fight evil with evil or just mean with a mean because what's the point of that i'm just gonna remove from my channel because i don't want other people to see their hateful comments because you all deserve better than to have a comment section full of hateful people but i love you all and i really hope you've been enjoying this series it seems like you have been uh i don't know what the video on sunday is going to be uh it might be a soundsmith video so definitely stay tuned for that i hope that you are enjoying these videos and i hope to see you back for the next one i hope you're subscribed you can check out the patreon if you want the videos a day early and to support the channel and maybe check out the gaming channel i would really appreciate that as well but i hope you have a great rest of the day hopefully i made it better made it better but until next one take care and cue the music we were playing an asshole.